My name is Nader Nader Najad. I make videos for newcomers to Canada and I also help people who are already in Canada get started and launch up like a rocket. Help you launch your business, get working online, find a job here in Canada if that's what you want to do, work on yourself and gain a competitive edge over other people. Now I know things can be hard for immigrants and people moving to Canada so I'm here to help you, to empower you. Hit that subscribe button and smash that notification bell. I promise you best deal yet all this content's free it is the number one like the best information you're going to find for coming to canada and it's going to help you each and every single day you hit that notification bell you could slowly consume my content and learn once you hit that we're friends and our content that we're making here together is going to shine through and help us become successful here in canada so let me talk about how you can become successful in canada you have to understand when you get here Canadian dream, it's gonna be awesome, I'm gonna make a ton of money, you know, the dollar may be higher than where you're at, and then bam. Wow, do you know immigrants get paid 15% less than most workers in Canada? And a lot of people are outraged by that, but hey, it's only 15% on average. It's not a very large gap to close. I'm not undermining the struggle, I'm just letting you know. 15% is kind of significant when you're looking at a population of people, but hey, we can close that gap with this information right here. What I want you to do is as you find employment, which I want you to find immediately, if you can come down harder than other people in terms of applying for jobs, send out more resumes. If you can come down being more convincing, work on yourself, use the fact that you have immigrated to Canada as an advantage. Tell your employers that you have seen the world. Tell them that you've seen things that people in Canada have never seen. Tell them that you're bringing all this experience and the reason why you're coming here is not to get a better life for yourself, it's because you realize you had so much experience and wanted to bring it to the workforce to help your employers because you saw an opportunity not only for yourself but for them. See how we're changing the framing here? So with that in mind, with being more competitive, having that edge, being convincing and good at selling yourself, and also sending those resumes to thousands of employers, work on sending five to 10 a day for a whole year. Once you're doing that, you're gonna have a better chance than other people. And looking at that, I'm talking about giving you that competitive edge to make more money. I highly recommend you begin working online. It is. Not the easiest thing to you know move into and then start doing off the bat. It takes a lot of work, it takes a lot of energy, but as it is, I'm not only am I making work freelancing online, am I making a really tiny bit of revenue from YouTube, but I'm also making money from a couple of online teaching sites, from merchandise, from Amazon affiliate, links, I, I wrote a book. So all these things are slowly bringing in revenue. And while it might not be an incredible, stupid, crazy amount right now, in the next 10 years, I hope it will be. So I'm, I'm doing that on the side while I'm getting a degree. And I'm just about to graduate from school and I'm thinking, hey, you know what? I'm running this business, I'm doing all these things. Maybe I shouldn't go work for a nine to five job. If I were to make content like this every single day, because I'm pretty damn fast at it for the next 10 years, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna be making more than people at most jobs. So that's what I'm working on right now and I recommend you do that. As you work your job, come home for three hours a night and start you know, cracking away at a side hustle, at an online business selling things, buy things on the Facebook marketplace, learn about uh, you know what things are hot and, and sell them, flip them. And this isn't a lifestyle for everybody, but this is going to give you a competitive edge over other people. And hey, maybe you don't want to do that. Maybe you don't want to launch a side business to get a competitive edge. You may be clearly linearly focused to go and get you know a, an engineering job, or you may want to become an electrician, or maybe not even in the trades. Maybe you want to be a ban you know, a banker or something. I don't know, but if, if you don't want to do that, if you don't want to start a business, although I super recommend starting the side hustle, this is one thing I'm going to recommend you do. Read. Read and consume Canadian content. Find something that sticks with you and find a way to personally develop yourself in your spare time. You need to get, you need to speak English really well. You need to speak English really well. Um, and I don't mean like, it doesn't matter if you have an accent, but you need to understand what's happening in the world, what's happening in Canada, and chances are immigrants know a lot more about the world than Canadians do for the most part, especially if you were living in a place where you had to survive by understanding the politics. Um, and I've seen this, and I'm, I'm not you know commenting on people in Canada, I'm a Canadian. And I don't know a lot about the world compared to some of my immigrant friends. They come here and, you know, we're talking about politics. And I'm like, wow, the breadth and depth of their knowledge is incredible. So take that, 
Gain that competitive edge by learning how to sell yourself and develop a business. If you don't want to develop a business on the side, you're adverse to it for some reason, although I highly recommend you do it. I have videos that teach you how. I recommend you spend that time reading and personally developing yourself so that you bring something different to the table. As it is, I can say, hey, I do this different thing. I do YouTube videos for people moving to Canada. That makes me different. It's a little bit of something. It's not incredible, but it's a little bit of something that sets me apart and I spend some time building it every day. If you can do that, because most people in Canada do not do that. They don't build something on the side. If you can build something, anything on the side, that's gonna give you a competitive edge and an advantage. I'm gonna drop you a question of the day down below. I'm gonna ask you what are some things that you can bring and work on on the side? What are some side hustles that you can create? And if you have any ideas, drop them below. This is a community. I wanna, I wanna challenge you to do something. Drop me a comment below and also if you can, try to reply to someone's comment. Talk to each other. If you're not already subscribed, hit the subscribe button, smash the notification bell like I always say, and thank you for watching.